Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how I made my car edit, if you are following me on Instagram, you have already seen this reels, and many of you asked me to do this tutorial. So let's begin. I will copy all my videos and green screens from the timeline, I will leave a download link to all green screens under this video's description. So here we have the clean footage of the car. Let's begin with a simple step, select your clip and go to tracker, click on track camera there. Once analyzing is done, select spots on the floor, right click and select, create null and camera. Rename that track null to, floor 3D. Now select your clip again, then click on 3D camera tracker and select spots on a car, then right click and click on, create null. Rename that track null to, car 3D. As we have that two track cameras, we can start making the effects. I will jump to my timeline and copy and paste the plane crashing on a ground green screen footage. Once you have dropped that green screen, link it to floor 3D layer and enable 3D on plane layer. Correct the X, Y, and Z rotations, then scale it and reposition the plane crashing as you will enjoy. Add keel eyed effect, grab an eyedropper tool and select the green screen to remove it. In my case I want the plane to hit the mirror first and then crash on a ground. If you noticed in my video, I have made an animation of the mirror flying away once the plane hits there. Let's make that animation now. But first of all enable frame blending on a plane layer. Cause my video is 60 frames per second and plane is 30 frames per second, and when footage doesn't match to each other, you will have a jitters, to avoid the jitters, enable frame blending. Click there twice until you see an arrow. Now let's make plane hitting in and mirror fly away animation. First, select your clip and rename it to, background slash car. Duplicate that layer and rename it to, clean. Duplicate clean layer and rename it to, mirror. Toggle off mirror and background layers. Select clean layer and we have to remove this mirror from a car. To do so, grab a pen tool and mask out the mirror like in this video. But first, delete 3D camera on clean layer. Now mask the mirror. Press M on your keyboard, right click on mask and select, track mask. Go to tracker and track that mask forward. But note, mask shouldn't touch the mirror, if it does like in my case, stop there, correct the mask and continue tracking. Once tracking is finished, change mask mode to subtract. Now go to content aware fill tab. If you can't see it in your AE, go to window, and enable it from there. Now copy my settings and click on, generate fill layer. This will remove mirror from a car. Now toggle back on, mirror and background layers. Then move fill layer below the mirror clip. We need to mask this mirror one more time but, this time mask should be perfect. Select roto brush tool and double click on mirror layer, make a smooth and perfect selection of the mirror. Once you finished selecting, add a feather a bit. Then click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Now go to the moment where the plane hits the mirror and on the mirror layer press P on your keyboard to open position. Click on position stopwatch icon, now hold shift and press R on your keyboard to open rotations and click on rotation stopwatch icon as well. Go a few frames forward and change position and rotation of the mirror, create an animation of mirror flying away. I will add scale as well, so once it flies toward the camera, I will scale the mirror a bit. Once you are happy with animation, enable motion blur on mirror layer. Nice, in my video, I have also used a sparkles effect. I will copy this effect as well. Note, all green screens you see in my video, will be in the description below. Move sparkles layer below the mirror. Then place sparkles at the right time, once the mirror flies away, move sparkles video there. Once you have done that too, let's add this anime girl dancing clip and once the mirror flies away, it should hit anime. I have dropped anime video, to remove the black screen, I've used color key effect, copy my settings and let's continue. Link anime to floor 3D and enable 3D on anime layer. Now change X, Y and Z rotations, also scale as much as you will need, position her at the point where the mirror flies, so it should hit her. Once you have placed her at the right place, move anime layer below the mirror. Now go to the moment where the mirror hits anime and press P on your keyboard, then hold shift and press S and R, 
This will bring only position, scale, and rotations. Now click on position, scale, and Z rotation stopwatch icons to create keyframes there. Then go a few frames forward and change rotation, position, and scale. Create an animation of anime flying away. Nice, once you have done this animation, let's do another effects. I have made a scratch effects once the plane flies by, and also created a glass cracked effect. We will need a PNG images here, I will include them too in description. Once you have dropped scratch image, link that layer to car 3D and enable 3D on that scratch layer. Position it on a car and then let's animate scratches. Grab a pen tool and draw a mask like in this video. Now press M on your keyboard and select inverted to invert the mask. Now I will move and match my mask on the plane wings, so, when plane flies by, the scratches will reveal. Now open masks and click on mask path stopwatch icon. Go frame by frame forward and move the mask with the plane. Open mask and add feather a bit. Let's now avoid this unwanted parts of the scratches, so I want my scratches to be on the door only and not on the window. Grab a pen tool again and draw a mask like in this video. Now open masks and change second mask mode to, subtract, nice. Open mask 2 now and add a feather a bit to smooth the edges. Do the same where you want to remove scratches on, and add another scratch photo and do the same what we did with this one. I will skip that part, so I don't want this video to be so long. Once you have finished with scratches, let's add another effect. Add this explosion green screen now. Once you have dropped that explosion, link it to floor 3D and enable 3D on that layer. Now change X, Y, and Z rotations, also scale and position it where you want the explosion to be. Add a keel eyed effect on it and remove the green screen. Now let's adjust the explosion, go to the moment where the plane hits the floor and place the explosion there, then scale and rotate if needed. Now press T on your keyboard to bring the opacity. Change opacity to 0% and click on opacity stopwatch icon. Then go a few frames forward and change opacity to 100%. Nice, I like it. Finally let's add the last effect, car badge rotation effect. Link the car badge to car 3D and enable 3D on car badge. Now change, X, Y and Z rotations, change scale, and position it to the top of the car. Then press R on your keyboard to open rotations and click on Y rotation stopwatch icon. Now go to very end of the layer and change rotation to 1 or 2. In my video, I have added a Sabre plugin on the badge. I have tutorials on the channel how to do so, I will skip this part in this video cause, this video is already too long. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.